Hi, good day everyone. This is Evan again on my newly remodeled channel. So tonight or today or what time is it at your end? I just want to share with you my thoughts um, as I'm sitting on my thinking chair. So I just come across while uh, trying to unwind this day. So actually it's about uh, 10 30 in the evening on a Saturday and I was thinking about uh, the lines blessings all mine with 10,000 beside I in fact posted it on my Facebook account and trying to get the thoughts of people and some of my friends and my family uh, about this line so in order for me to you know totally understand um, how how things are are happening in each of our lives and how do we enjoy God's blessings or you know the blessings that comes uh, to us so I was trying to search the internet and I saw the one of the um, columns written by Michael Dumas and Michael I know I didn't have permission from you but I just wanted to read this one it's your column on vantage point talking about blessing all mine with 10,000 beside and I quote like many for years I thought that God's blessing included mostly things that he gave such as happiness health and employment along with physical healing and success in worthwhile pursuits. God deserves thanks for all of these, but we must admit that His gifts go well beyond what our eyes or minds ever notice. Those were blessings, but it's easy to miss. Yet they give daily evidences that God's enduring love for us. Those blessings are found not only in what God provides, but also in what He prevents. Recently, I saw a picture of our safely parked van taken on a trip out west by our family of six. We traveled over 7,000 miles without accident or breakdown, thereby demonstrating that God prevented any harm to my most precious earthly possession, my family, the entire way. Years later, he saved me from a fatal heart attack by allowing it to happen near an emergency room. Those are just two of the big things in my life, but most of God's prevention blessings happen every day in ways we may never comprehend. A friend once said that she didn't get upset by an expected delay that kept her from leaving home as planned. She said it might have been God's way of keeping her from going through an intersection just as another car ran stop sign, thereby saving her life. And of course, we can't be certain of that. But God foresees the future and guards us against many tragedies that we never realize are, are waiting. God repeatedly prevents potential front tire blowouts on two-lane roads and keeps our buddy chemistry from going haywire every millisecond of every day. We need not live in fear, but rather in confidence because God continually demonstrates His love in countless unseen ways, whether we acknowledge them or not. God blesses by prevention in visible ways as well. After illness, we thank God for restored health, remembering that for most of all, for most of us, He prevents far more often than He cures diseases. For those with chronic conditions, He provides love and care in ways only they can only they can only truly appreciate. Through God's restraint, storms are only sometimes destructive. Unfulfilled dreams are possibly nightmares in disguise. Broken romances are still less damaging than broken marriages. Life-extending medicines and methods given by God have lengthened lifespans. A little reflection should easily demonstrate that our guardian angels have been on duty non-stop, usually without credit or notice except from God. God blesses not only by what He gives, but also by what He prevents. When we cultivate that awareness, 
our thankfulness for blessings, all mine with 10,000 besides, can have an even richer meaning. And I unquote. So it's like, what about you? I'm pretty sure you have your own stories to tell. You have your own experiences in the recent past that God prevented something to happen. It looks like we are um, having unanswered prayers, but on the other hand, it was God's hand preventing something damaging that can happen to us. So why don't we stop, pause, and pray and thank the Lord for this, uh, they would say, like the author said, prevention, blessing, whatever you call it. But after all, you would see the hands, the hand of God is moving as long as you believe. So in your quiet time, in your me time, think about it. Blessings all mine with 10,000 beside. You might even come to a point, am I being greedy by just, you know, claiming these promises, claiming this truth about blessings? After all, it was God's way of showing us that He never stopped. He never stopped caring for you and for me. What a wonderful thought as you end your day, as you begin your day, always start thanking God and by having an, uh, a moment of, of uh, believing that things are going to go your way and everything would come to you at the right time. So with this, I'm going to leave with you so these thoughts of, of having and putting your confidence in God alone whatever situation you're in right now. Believe and you will receive. Thank you for watching and I'll get, we'll get back to you later on my other vlog. Thank you. Have a nice day.